Welcome to Ari Jam 360 Entertainment News. I'm your host, Electra. For this news feature and more things, Ari, download the Ari Jam 360 app for iPhone and Android devices. Follow us on social media. You can also visit arijam.com. In today's stories, DJ speaks about spitting incident. Blue plaque for the whalers. Movado fanning the flames. And Capleton advises about using family members in clashes. This jockey speaks about spitting incident. This jockey and budding artist Sadiqi Kamar Powell has pushed back against reports that he was arrested following an incident between him and a female toll booth collector in Port Moore, St. Catherine three weeks ago. Powell said that he has been bombarded with text messages and phone calls from friends and family members about the allegations that he spat in the toll collector's face. He says that he was not arrested and admitted that he did spit in the direction of the toll booth operator because he was provoked. He said on the day in question, he drove up to the toll booth and was waiting to pay his toll. When an argument developed between him and the female toll collector, he said that the toll booth worker forcefully handed him his change, almost causing injury to his outstretched hand. At that point, he spat in the direction of the toll collector and drove away. Court documents show that Powell appeared in the St. Catherine Parish Court on Friday, September 20 and was fined $5,000 with an alternative of 10 days in prison and was ordered to make an open apology to the victim in court. Blue plaque for the Whalers. The former site of the Island Records basing Street Studio in London will be recognized with a blue plaque on Friday to acknowledge the work of the Whalers, Bob Marley, Bunny Whaler, and Peter Tosh, who worked on two groundbreaking albums there. According to the website eventbrite.co.uk, the event is organized by Dr. Jack Boyla, CEO of the New BN Jack Community Trust. Marley, Tosh, and Whaler, then Bunny Livingston, recorded the Catch a Fire and Burning albums at Harry J Studio in Kingston. But overdubs and mixing for both were done at Basing Street, which was the main recording unit for Island Records, which signed them that year. The albums were released in 1973 to critically acclaimed and help introduce reggae, then a rising sound to a wider market. A critical overdub was American guitarist Wade Perkins' searing rock solo and concrete jungle from Catch a Fire. Movado fanning the flames. Movado has released a new song titled Flammable and he is trying to start a fire. He uploaded two clips from his 2008 Sting Clash with Faux Vibes Cartel with a reminder that he is a real deal, no joke about it. Of course, this could just be a PR for the single and his career which has not been as robust as it can be in 2019. But the clips have served to charge up fans and the discussion about who won the infamous Movado Cartel Sting Clash in 2008. The jury is officially still out, although many say Cartel had a slight edge in a clash that really wasn't a clash. Capleton tells artists to leave family members out of clash. Dancehall artist Capleton, aka King Shangle, has issued a word of advice to his younger peers in the industry, warning them to refrain from dissing family members during their lyrical battles. He noted that there are just certain lines that should never be crossed. During an interview with onstage Winford Williams, Capleton re reprimanded new school DJs for breaking the unwritten rules of engagement in dancehall with regards to clashes. He claims in the past, mothers and other family members were never spoken about in a derogatory manner. Capleton would go on to advise his younger peers to try to keep the music positive as that is the message that the world wants to hear. His advice comes just weeks after Dancehall most recent feud involving Alkaline and Squash, which saw both artists exchanging several diss tracks, which made reference to family members in a derogatory manner. Also, Capleton performed to a sold-out venue in Costa Rica last weekend, and he uploaded clips, which showed the crowd stretching back as far as the eyes could see. That's how wrap for today. Thank you for watching Jam 360 Entertainment News. For this news feature and more things IRE, download the IRE Jam 360 app for iPhone and Android devices. Follow us on social media. You can also visit IRIJAM.com.